It's been a phenomenal six months. The fellowship definitely helps us as entrepreneurs to take the first leap of faith. Xcore Therapeutics uh, is a medical device company creating a, a novel platform for removing CO2 out of patient bloodstreams. The second half of this fellowship is really geared towards acceleration. We have science that's proven in a preclinical data set and approved by experts in the field. So now it's time for us to accelerate through our first in human trials. Our product is really going to change our market and change the care pathway for our patients. And they see us as kind of the, the beachhead for that change and are really open to working with us. Can't say enough for, for Peter's mentorship. He's the one who takes uh, several hours out of his week in order to sit with us, do monthly updates, listen to how we've performed our work and, and give us slight nudges. What's this fellowship about? I kind of describe it as a, a risk-free year of being able to be an entrepreneur. I am in the process of founding a new venture that will focus on developing therapeutics for treating neurodegenerative diseases. The Blavatnik Fellowship Network has really allowed me to make things uh, move faster than they would have initially. So we're halfway through the fellowship and uh, we at Valera Health are landing two new clients. The biggest news though is that we're doing this pivot to provide clinical services. So this would mean in addition to the technology platform, we would hire our own psychiatrists and our own care managers and our own psychologists. We're raising another $5 million right now to build out these clinical services. And the mentors through the Blavatnik Fellowship have been super helpful to connect us with potential investors. Our mission is to reinvent how mental health care is delivered for millions of Americans. That's always at the end as a carrot that's attracting us to put in more time, put in more effort, uh, put in less sleep. Being an entrepreneur takes a lot of courage and it takes a ton of grit. There are definitely days where I wonder to myself, like, why did I make this decision? The Blavatnik Fellowship has given me a lot of confidence. Since the start of the fellowship, uh, I have transitioned from being the CEO and founder of Infinite MD, which was an international medical second opinion online. Um, I stepped down from the CEO position, believing that it was the right time for me to move on to the next project. So I founded a company called Kaleaware. My plan is for this new company to sell antimicrobial, anti-stain medical scrubs. I can't see uh, myself just being a nine to five doctor. I see myself really trying to change the way systems work. Um, it's just been so exciting to be part of something that's greater than you. The whole reason I came to, to Harvard Business School and the work that we're doing through the fellowship is for my brother. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is terrible, but to watch your own brother suffer from it is something that words can't quite define. The fellowship itself has been uh, a true catalyst to moving forward our development efforts, uh, both on the biotech side as well as the foundation side. We've established a scientific advisory board comprising some of the finest minds in the space. Success is a simple definition, either he survives the disease or he doesn't. You can do research in a lab all day and never, never meet a patient. Um, but to see an individual who's suffering with the disease and know that, oh, this research that I'm doing directly impacts this person, I, I think goes a long way. Time's the biggest and scarcest resource out there. Um, the fact that we have, as fellows, a year to be able to devote to our respective causes is something that's truly a, a gift.